Hi, welcome to an episode of Traveling Through the Bible. I'm Jenny the Sis, and boy, do we have an episode for you today. We are going to take you to the theater at Caesarea by the Sea. It's probably one of my favorite spots. Um, We had a gentleman on one of my groups get up and sing, and the acoustics were amazing. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Don't forget, after the video, our birthday shout-outs, and don't forget to subscribe to our show. Entering the theater at Caesarea, I see statues and the city's grandeur, facing westwards towards the Mediterranean Sea and beyond. Walking via the old vomitarium and under the arch passageway to take my seat in theater, my hindsight goes back to seeing Herod the Great's grandson, Agrippa I, donning his royal robes and taking his seat upon the throne. In a garment Josephus says was made wholly of silver, He rose to make his exuberant oration. Gesticulating, his voice thunders like a god, but he didn't give God the glory, and was struck down to be eaten by the worms, as recorded in Acts 12. Upon Agrippa I's death, his son Agrippa II ascended to the throne. Yes, the one in Acts 26 that presided over the trial of Paul, which provided the written documentation to accompany Paul's appeal before the emperor, his prerogative as a Roman citizen. Paul made his defense before the jostling crowds of togas, with Festus interjecting with a loud voice, Paul, you're mad. The great learning is turning you mad. Paul said, I'm not mad, most excellent Festus. I'm speaking the sober truth, for the king knows about these things. To him I speak freely. Agrippa said to Paul, in a short time, you think to make me a Christian. And Paul said, whether short or long, I would to God that not only you, but also all who hear me this day, might become such as I am, except for these chains. Awaiting other prisoners bound for Rome, Paul set sail from here. Had it not been for Paul's audacity at Caesarea, perhaps the Western world would never have become Christian. Just imagine the turmoil in that trial. Now you can take your seat there, and before your very eyes relive the trial in the theater of Caesarea and stand where Paul probably stood affirming his faith. Yeah.